My name is uh, Fred Green. This is uh, Beth Stetzer. We're from uh, Camp Quest. Camp Quest is the uh, first residential summer camp uh, in the United States for the children of free-thinking parents. Uh, notice we don't label the campers the kids themselves. Uh, we strive on letting the kids reach their own conclusions uh, through critical thought uh, and such. Uh, we, uh, it's, uh, although the camp is aimed at uh, non-religious families, we, uh, we invite kids of, uh, of any religious beliefs uh, to come to camp. I think at camp this summer we actually had a couple of kids that, uh, that, uh, that were religious in nature. Uh, we don't allow any, pros any proselytizing at camp, but they're certainly welcome to join us. Uh, we strive not to turn any campers away for uh, financial reasons. Uh, we, we have camperships available every year. Uh, most of the uh, campers are aged 8 to 17 uh, right now, but we're looking maybe to expand that uh, a little bit. Camp Quest Chesapeake is a new camp that started up this year right here in the local area. Um, camp Quest is a secular summer camp based on humanist and free thought, philosophy and values, rational inquiry, scientific method. Uh, you see all the things there. Camp Quest was first started back in 1996. Uh, down on the Ohio-Kentucky border with uh, uh, a small, small camp of 20 campers uh, had has grown since then. It started from the uh, Free Inquiry Group uh, of Cincinnati and Northern Kentucky. Sort of as a response to the, uh, to the Boy Scouts. As many of you know, um, a lot of us wouldn't exactly be welcome in the Boy Scouts. And there was a group of, uh, group of families that wanted to send their kids to summer camp and realized uh, maybe the Boy Scouts wasn't the answer. So they, uh, that's how Camp Quest got its start. Um, we, uh, as a mission, though, we, uh, we accomplish, uh, accomplish our goals uh, through activities. We try not to lecture the kids at all. Um, kids aren't as patient as you all to sit through a whole day of lectures like this. Uh, they'd last about 10 minutes and they'd be done. Uh, so we, we have day-long activities at the, at the summer camp. It's a week-long camp, uh, and it's activities throughout the day. About the only time we do have any, anything even close to a lecture uh, is sometime during uh, meals, during lunch and dinner, we'll talk about various things. Our uh, current camp location is at uh, Prince William Forest Park uh, in Virginia. It's just north of Quantico. Um, the cabins you see were built uh, back in the 1950s by the Civilian Conservation Corps. Uh, the camp was originally set up uh, by the uh, Office of Special Security, which is uh, the precursor to the CIA. Uh, and that's where they trained the nation's first uh, cadre of spies. So of course we had to put that spy, spy theme into the first camp, uh, so that was kind of fun. Uh, we were recently in the press. I don't know if any of you saw the uh, Washington Post article that uh, came out of our first year of camp. Um, the, the reporter that came out was, was friendly to our cause, uh, but even then uh, the article came out that Camp Quest is the atheist's answer to Bible school. Not exactly. Um, we, don't, uh, we don't preach to the kids. Uh, I think as, as has been a popular statement lately, uh, we don't teach the kids what to think. We try to help them learn how to think. Uh, so that, that was a bit of a misnomer. Part of the article even talked about that we did uh, atheist fishing, atheist hiking, <laughs> whatever that means. So there was a, a bit of information there. Um, but any press could be good press, and we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of new families on our mailing list just from, uh, just from that one news article. Oops, went too far. In essence, uh, it's a camp. Uh, our motto is... Uh, uh, first part of our motto is fun. We do the hiking, swimming, we do the s'mores at the campfire and all that good stuff. All the traditional summer camp activities. Uh, friends, one of the biggest thing the kids uh, get out of, of coming to this camp is they meet other kids uh, like themselves. Uh, they're from free thinking families. Some of them, uh, aside from their own family, they don't have any other friends that are, that are free thinkers as they are. Uh, so we, we've got some real lifelong uh, friendship bonds formed at camp. Uh, they build a community of the peers. Most of them now, they, they, uh, they uh, immediately, as soon as camp is done and they get home, they're, they're, they're friending each other on Facebook and, and Twitter and messages. And, and they, uh, we see the message traffic going through the rest of the year. So it's a lot of fun. And that's where, that's where a lot of the learning comes from. Uh, the kids we had at camp this year, uh, an amazing bunch. I, I've heard some really, really impressive questions come out of this group. But I've got to tell you, you got nothing on some of the 12-year-olds that were at camp this year. Uh, some of the questions they hit us with, I was glad that we had a, a physicist and an astronomer and a couple of other uh, highly, uh, highly intelligent people on camp because I had to point the kids to their direction for the answers. 
Uh, and finally, free thought. Um, uh, we do a lot of, uh, a lot of activities, um, sort of a miniature version of, uh, of IIG, I think. Uh, we, we, let them, uh, we, we give them some games, give them some scenarios to play with. Um, we teach them about, uh, we make, show them some UFO photos. Does this picture of a UFO marine mean it's, it's real? Um, as you can see there in the lake, uh, we have our own, uh, our own local monster, it's Chessie. She is our local sea monster in the local pond. Uh, uh, proof right there, right? And of course the challenge at camp is uh, uh, all, of, all of the uh, counselors and such, we all believe in Chessie, uh, she's real, we all, we all know she's real. And the challenge to the campers is to prove to us that she's not. Uh, that, of course, brings them through the whole exercise of trying to prove a negative. We all know how much fun that is. Uh, and at that point, I'm going to turn it over to, uh, to Beth. So you may be wondering um, how Camp Quest Chesapeake relates to... Thank you. <laughs> how Camp Quest Chesapeake re relates to Skeptic Camp. And basically, um, we're trying to raise little skeptics. Um, or at least, you know, allow them the environment of being able to uh, think for themselves and to develop the critical thinking skills that will be, you know, valuable for the rest of their lives. And so a lot of the activities that go on at camp are, um, like, solving various problems through activities um, and talking about and applying the scientific method, testing paranormal claims. Um, and the kids learn from the staff, but at the same time, the staff learns from the campers and they get inspired by the campers. You know. The ultimate thing about the camp is that we're just a place where kids, you know, kids can go and just have fun doing you know, all kinds of fun summer activities. Um, this particular past year, we had a, um, uh, it was this, uh, taking the kids to a uh, um, offsite to uh, an adventure uh, links. Adventure links, high ropes course. High ropes course, um, which I am assuming was rated like the best, one of the best activities that was offered. <laughs> Um, and there's, there was swimming, there was all kinds of different activities. Um, another thing is that you get to teach and learn about topics you love. And the camp, this camp staff and the campers are encouraged to do things outside of their comfort zone. Um, and they're also encouraged to share their knowledge and passion. And, of course, uh, you're free to act silly and gain self-confidence by just being yourself and in this safe environment and where no one is going to judge you. Or, and, but at the same time, you're also allowed to challenge each other, but, and it helps to strengthen your critical thinking skills. So there's other things that we're planning um, in the works beyond our annual uh, summer camp and we'd like to hold weekend family camps which as it implies you bring you know, the entire family comes just for a weekend and it's very you know, so it's not just leaving your kids behind it's you know being actively involved in the uh, in the different activities um, planning local community events throughout the year um, I guess maybe during questions could go, if you have questions about those kind of things, we can talk about that further. And partnering, partnering with other groups. I mean, that's one reason why we're here today at Skeptic Camp, is to let you all know about us um, and to build community. And lastly, um, how can you get involved? Uh, well, you know, we can't just, you know, oh, we, how do we pull this off in the first, first place? Um, we're all volunteers. You know, uh, Fred is the president, or the, I should say the chair, 
chair of CamQuest Chesapeake. And um, for the last uh, session, I was the treasurer. Um, and now um, I'm the secretary. And but so we're each doing this on a volunteer basis. Um, but basically, you, know, you can get involved by volunteering yourself. Um, you can donate either supplies, money, um, design an activity, uh, send a camper. It doesn't have to be your kid, but if you'd like to be able to, um, <laughs> but of course you'd have to, you know, if you know somebody in your neighborhood, you know, it's, you know, obviously you have to have a parent's permission. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, as far as like younger siblings, uh, cousins, family members, family friends. Um, you can come to camp and volunteer to be as a, a camp counselor or someone who's knowledgeable about some certain activity. For instance, I came for one night where you know, I helped out on the astronomy activity because that's what my profession is. Um, and I'm thinking of next year actually being there for the full week and, and being a counselor. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, and we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization. So your donations are fully tax deductible. Um, and, you know, another way to help us is to spread the word. Um, you can take, we have a couple of brochure, brochures handy and give them to people you think may be interested. Either have kids, um, or like I said, you know, kids you may know in your lives who would um, really benefit from, from what uh, Cam Quest Just Peak offers. You know, here's our contact information. Um, this is our, our email address and our website. It's chesapeake.camp-quest.org. And that's, that's it. Um, thank you. Any, yeah. questions? Any questions? Yes. Uh, how many kids did you have last year, and what do you expect for this year with the coverage you got in the coast? Um, let's see, I think we had 36, 36 campers, and about a third of those were due to our um, having camperships. Okay. So, and we're hoping, gosh, I would, I well, don't know if. We're, we're hoping to get it uh, oh. up to 50. Uh, we're going to max out, at, at a current camp, we're probably going to max out at about 80 campers. Uh, so if we get much bigger than that, we'll have to look for a different camp. But that's, where, that's our goal this year. Mm -hmm. In the back? Yeah. How long is it? How? It's for a week-long camp session. Um, I think the last, our first camp session was from July, July 17th through the 23rd. So it went from a Sunday to a Saturday. Yes. Is it, it being just uh, a week long to see feasible uh, do you think that if as camp quest grows it may, it may be necessary to hold multiple camp quests per year? Okay, so you asked if as camp quest grows would it be would it um, necessitate having more camps? Sessions per year? Right, uh, right, like a Camp Quest June, Camp Cook Quest July, Camp Quest August. Okay, uh, well, we actually have um, Camp Quest locations um, in a ver uh, number of different um, locations throughout the United States, as well as in Ontario and in the UK, and I think possibly trying to start in Norway. Um, so, <laughs> I want to go there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, I want to go there too. Um, so, and each one, I, I don't know if we specifically try not to overlap. I mean, we have locations in California and Washington State and Montana, as well as um, Minnesota. A new one just op opened up very recently in Oklahoma. 
uh, Michigan, Ohio is the original one, uh, Tennessee, Ontario, us in Virginia, and South Carolina. So um, we try not to overlap with anybody within our region. So, but you know, there's there's <laughs> definitely a number of different options. Um, so, but I, I think yeah, there's there's a multiple n number of uh, locations and and times throughout the summer per year. So I guess you could technically send your kid to multiple Camp Quest sessions in, in one calendar year. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else? Yeah. Thank you.